<laughs> this is an important issue in Colorado, a timely one for sure, because it's been such a snowy, windy winter around here. So how do you continue training, even in bad weather? Well, you have to start by making lemonade from lemons. I got of Harvard. It's windy, but it's in and out of the wind. The crew is doing great. We were fortunate to have a weather window on Mount Harvard, but that's not always the case. Corey, Over. <laughs> how are we doing? Good, dude. You? I'm doing really well. Yeah. It's a beautiful day. Yeah. Sun shining. Yeah, it's great to see the sun, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. That's Tori Udall basking in the sunshine. Probably just the, uh, like that, that challenge of just you know, trying to make that that winter 14 summer. Anna Marie Meagle is right. That's what pulls us out of a warm bed in the middle of the night. But there are plenty of days with no weather window and you still need to stay in shape. Yeah, it's a great training tool because another thing is like on a day like today, the winds are blowing, it's really brutal. And instead of being up on a peak battle in the elements and being worried about avalanche danger and things like that, we could be on the ski resort and it's a safe, safe haven. It's about making lemonade out of lemons. This training session was at Copper Mountain. The wind had the weather station at the top spinning fast. So after you get to the top, you gotta take your skins off, which are these sticky things. They're kind of a two-way material where if you go uphill, they kind of hold their grip. The consistent training gives you flexibility. A good example are long days like this heading up to Capitol Peak. All right, so we just skinned up here to uh, just about K2, and there's John down there. And uh, there it is, Capitol Peak and the, uh, the knife edge, and it is wind blowing and it's dangerous. That trip up to Capitol ended at K2. We didn't like conditions. We'd have to wait for the next weather window and in the meantime, continue making lemonade from lemons. Yeah, and that's the thing. We've had now what we've been calling these pineapple express. Uh, right. So lemons and pineapples. Right. <laughs> right, and so it's, uh, and what that basically means is that we have a lot of snow and a lot of wind this year. Yeah. And dealing with those bad days, you still have to train, right? Because that's how, you can't just go weeks without training. Ready for the good days. Yeah, exactly. So I noticed the big goggles. Yeah. Tell us about those. Yeah, so SEAL makes those. Uh, it's still kind of a work in progress. The video is pretty good. So there's it's, video in. That's why they're so large? Uh, yes. There's okay. a camera in there. Oh, so right. nice. and, uh, it's getting better. Cool. It's not, you know, quality like, you know, a phone might shoot these You're days. You're not showing us any of that video was not from the goggles no, it quite wasn't. yet? Right. Okay. Could you, like, if you had those goggles on, see, like, how the markets are doing? <laughs> <laughs> I still sell high and buy low, and that's the way I play it. Dow's up 36, NASDAQ's up 11, the S&P 500 up 3 this morning. Thank you for that update, like Thomas. We always say, get that in. you want the latest news, Google it. Yeah. That's what we say here on Quit Monday bugging us. Break. Google it. That was a great video. Thank you Thank for you. sharing that. Yeah, yeah, thanks, Chris. Cool Thank stuff. you very much. So why am I out here?